Hi everyone! I'm here today to bring you a video of information that's near and dear to my heart. As many of you guys know, I'm a huge advocate for saving our corals and reproducing corals so that we can find a way to make sure they don't go extinct, but it's really important that I highlight other parts of our ocean that are also becoming endangered as well. With this said, this video is all going to be about the abalone, the fact that it's becoming endangered, and what scientists are currently doing to prevent them from going extinct. Abalone are known as sea snails, and there are about 130 species worldwide, with about seven species here in California. They are generally grouped in the colors of pink, green, red, black, and white, and they range from less than an inch up to 12 inches, depending on the species. Because abalone are easy to find by divers and easily fished by fishermen, over time, the demand for them has gone up and the populations have gone down. They are slow to reproduce and are facing a variety of factors that are hurting their populations around the world. Abalone is currently on the verge of endangerment due to overfishing, disease, and rising acidic levels in our oceans. Due to these factors, the California Fish and Game Commission has barred fishing abalone until April of 2021, and they did this in 2018. So you can kind of get a feel of how bad things were getting. There is hope though. Because we have scientists and researchers that are steadily working to work in their labs and have captive bred abalone, raising them in large numbers and then coordinating with divers to place them back into the ocean is making a great difference in being able to help their reproduction levels rise. I would like to take this time to highlight Dr. Kirsten Acalino, who leads a team at the Bodega Marine Lab located at UC Davis. These scientists have started off with a small number of abalone and over the time raised it to a large amount and this past fall we're actually able to successfully implant them back into the ocean. Thank you for all of your work and I cannot wait to follow your future journey. There are other scientists that believe it'll take approximately three to six decades to raise the red abalone population in California based on the current ocean conditions. And this is just really sad, but this is also their best case scenario projection. And this is why it's so important for me to bring this information to you guys so we can see just how devastating our overfishing has become and the impact of global warming with our waters becoming too warm for our species to be able to adapt and survive. And although this might be some bad news for divers or companies that find abalone for income or for sport, the reality is this is just what we have to do to give our abalone a chance. And even with narrow fishing, experts have found that it could take 31 years to have our abalone reestablished. Before I leave, I would like to encourage everyone to look in the links in the description below to do their own research and to see what's been really going on in addition to the information that I brought today. I also encourage you guys to follow the white abalone Instagram page to see their journey about them raising abalone and placing them back into the ocean. That's all I have to say for now. Stay tuned to the next one.